Hello, everybody. Um, we are now going to start. Um, we're still expecting a few more, so uh, hopefully they'll be able to pick up uh, when they join. Um, welcome, everybody, to day one of our Monitoring Soil Moisture Workshop using uh, Earth Observation, um, brought to you by our Copernicus EUSA Uptake Project, funded by the European Union and coordinated by DLR German Aerospace. Uh, my name is Dr. Guar Jones, and I'm a Senior Earth Observation Specialist at the Joint Nature Conservation Committee. Uh, I lead on the use of Earth Observation data across a wide range of applications here in the UK, but also internationally, uh, from modelling uh, the impacts of disasters on natural capital in the Caribbean to understanding fire risk in my home country of Wales. Um, I've also been working on data standards for Earth observation data in the UK, uh, specifically producing and maintaining analysis-ready data from Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2. And I will be your chair for today's session. Um, for those of you who have not come across the Joint Nature Conservation Committee before, um, we are a public body that advises uh, the UK government on UK-wide and international nature conservation. Uh, we are an impartial scientific authority and we provide uh, advice on practical, policy-relevant, evidence-based solutions, um, primarily to support decision-making. Um, running this workshop today uh, virtually means that we've been able to uh, not only invite speakers um, from uh, all over the world, but delegates as well. Um, so for today, we had about 170 number of delegates registered from over 20 countries. I can see a large proportion of you are, have made it uh, uh, to the session today. So welcome, everybody. Um, the aim of our workshop is to introduce delegates to the potential role of Earth observation data, products and services for monitoring soil moisture, um, specifically with a little bit of a focus on the Copernicus programme, but we will also have a wider discussion um, about soil moisture data networks and application for use of these data over the two days. Um, we have set up a virtual space to allow people to interact with each other, as you might expect at a workshop. So we hope that people will not only walk away uh, from our event with more knowledge about these data, but have had a chance to share, explore and refine ideas with each other as well. I will introduce that space in a second. Um, before we go any further, I will need to introduce some housekeeping rules. Um, hopefully, you will all have received a detailed agenda and information sheet explaining the rules beforehand, but here they are again. Um, so, you are reminded to please be on mute throughout the whole event, uh, unless we ask you to speak. Um, please also note that we will be recording this uh, session and it will be shared publicly on uh, JNCC's YouTube channel. Um, if you wish to ask uh, speakers of the questions, and we encourage you to ask as many questions as possible, uh, please do so through the meet.ps forward slash JNCC soil link. Um, that space looks like this. Um, you will have been asked to uh, answer a couple of polls on the way in, but if you click on the Q&A button on the bottom of the screen, that takes you to the space where you can ask questions. Uh, now, you'll be able to see that you can upvote questions. So if someone has already asked your question, then please use this facility. Um, we've also given you a space to introduce yourself uh, to others, a little bit of a networking space, which is available through this link. Um, so we will also be using this space tomorrow for the collaboration session. Um, that session is not open at the minute. We will open that tomorrow afternoon. Um, and that specific session will be open and available until the 29th of July. So don't worry if you haven't been able to interact with as many people as you would like. You have two weeks after this event to do, to do so if you so wish. Um, please note that when you're interacting in this space, uh, any of the, of the spaces that doesn't have anonymous next to it, um, you will carry your name as you entered it uh, at login. 
Uh, if you need any help with any of the technology that we are using today, all the information should be available in your information pack, which we sent around uh, with the meeting details last week. Um, please be as polite and positive and constructive in your questions, comments and feedback as possible. Um, we will also make materials such as PDFs of the slides, uh, etc., available to all the attendees um, after the event. We will email you the uh, information. Um, please feel free to tweet uh, during the event using the hashtag JNCC underscore EO4 soil. Uh, and if you do need to leave us early or are only joining us for one day, then we would please ask you to fill in the feedback form on the collaboration space uh, as that will help us improve future sessions. Uh, and just to let you know that all, that, all the feedback is anonymous, so please feel free to uh, speak openly. Uh, now, today's agenda looks like this, um, and the main focus will be uh, an introduction to products from Earth observation data and how these are validated. Uh, our speaker for today is Dr. Bernard bauer marschallinger from TUVN in Austria, uh, and he is the lead author of the Copernicus Surface Soil Moisture Products and the Soil Water Index Products. Um, but before we kick off the first session of the workshop, uh, to give you a little bit of context about how we got to where we are today, um, I will explain a little bit about the Copernicus programme, our funding source and JNCC's project. Uh, so just in case you needed an introduction to uh, our Copernicus programme uh, here in, in Europe, um, it is the most uh, ambitious Earth observation programme to date. Um, and Copernicus delivers um, operational data by observing our environment, primarily using a suite of satellites called the Sentinels. Um, it collects, stores, analyzes data, and provides products and services openly and freely to everyone in the world in a wide range of applications, as you can see here. There is a, a really nice five minute YouTube video about the Copernicus program if you'd like to uh, find out more about the program. Um, so the funding source for our project is the Caroline Herschel Framework Partnership Agreement um, and it is a consortium of organisations from 23 European countries of which uh, the JNCC are one uh, and this agreement aims to uh, increase the uptake of Copernicus data products and services. Um, it does this by implementing a series of actions, uh, and this is how uh, JNCC's action is structured. Um, so JNCC's statutory UK and international remit and a strong culture of partnership working and innovation uh, means we are uniquely placed to develop shared cost-effective solutions for our partners and stakeholders across the UK. So our action has a series of components as seen here, and they are designed to enable long-term uptake of Copernicus data across UK public environmental functions. And now today's workshop on soil moisture is part of our thematic workshop series. Um, so now, into going into the first session, um, again, I will remind you that we, we would like you to use this space to ask your questions. Um, we will collate all these questions at the end and I will ask your questions on your behalf in the next session. Uh, so please make sure you get your questions in through this space. Uh, and now I am uh, pleased to introduce um, Dr. Bernard Bauer-Marschallinger. 